Good morning, and welcome to Bethlehem Baptist Church. If this is your first time visiting with us, we want to welcome you to our church. Please open your bulletin. There you will find a QR code. Open your camera app and point at the QR code, and it will take you to our digital connection card. Here you will find a visitor information form that you can fill out so we have a record of your visit, and you will also find some information about our church. Now, let's go over some announcements. Small group Bible study continues tonight. Please see Pastor Patrick if you did not sign up. There is still a spot for you. The adult choir practice will be today at 4.30 p.m. and the children's choir will practice today at 6 p.m. in the Family Life Center. All Sunday school teachers and assistants are encouraged to attend the Sunday School Matters meeting on Monday, February 21st in the Family Life Center at 6.30 p.m. There will be a meal provided. The crochet group will meet Thursday, February 24th, 6.30 p.m. in the home of Janice Mathis. Join us on Saturday, February the 26th at 8 a.m. for a time of fellowship as we continue working on the renovations of the Family Life Center as well as planting flowers at Buford Elementary School. There will be a bridal shower on Sunday, February the 27th at 2.30 p.m. in the Family Life Center as we honor Hannah and Jonathan Starnes on their recent marriage with a bed, bath, and gift card shower. The Sewing Ladies will meet on Tuesday, March the 1st at 9 a.m. in the Family Life Center. We are taking up a love offering for Blake Bailey. Blake is a sophomore at the University of South Carolina and a member of the Baptist Collegiate Ministry on campus. He holds a leadership position as the outreach coordinator for BCM. BCM is an affiliate of the South Carolina Baptist Convention. Blake will be traveling to southern France this summer from July the 5th through the 15th, and their mission will be to welcome and serve people as they come in and out of France for the first time. This is Blake's first time going out of the country, and he's very excited. So he's asked that we would pray for him and his team, that they would be sensitive to the Holy Spirit and willing to do whatever the Lord calls them to do while they're on this trip. We will be collecting a love offering for Blake today, so please carefully consider how you can help. Now, let's go over our sermon preview. This week our sermon title is The Great Divide. We'll be in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18-31. through 31. Have you ever heard of the North American Continental Divide? More commonly known as the Great Divide. It separates a boundary that separates watersheds flowing from two different directions. If you're into science, like me, you may think, well, what does this have to do with me? Here's what happens. Depending on which side of the Great Divide rain falls on, the water ends up in one or two places. Either ends up in the Pacific Ocean or the Atlantic Ocean. In Paul's concluding words of chapter 1, he speaks about the ultimate great divide that will happen within humanity. The ultimate great divide within humanity happens with the cross. The cross divides between those who believe and those who do not believe. The reality is that it matters which side of the cross you're on. There are two sides of the cross. On one side, the wages of sin is death. On the other side, the gift of God is eternal life. Which side are you on this morning? My prayer today is, is if you haven't trusted Jesus as your Savior, then today will be the day you surrender. For those of us that have a relationship with Jesus Christ, my prayer is that you will always remember to boast of Jesus and not in your abilities. Now, let's begin our service. <laughs> 